Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Thursday. It's our fourth day of winter white for the Winter Style Challenge. And I'm trying something new. I'm doing this live on my personal page. My good friend Dina had suggested it so that I can get my word out a little bit more out into the world. So I will be doing this live on my, my regular Facebook and then adding it to Instagram and the Defining the Style Facebook page so it'll all be where it needs to be. Also, just to let you know, I also post these things on YouTube. So every day I take this live, I put it up on YouTube. They're all together. If you ever have this idea where you're like, oh, I, I wish I could remember what she had done with this, this, or this, you can go through the YouTube and look at the videos from there. I also add it all to Pinterest as well. So I um, add the pin is, you know, my Instagram post or my Facebook post. So it's all over the place. You can find me in lots of different places and it's defining the style. So take a look if you love Pinterest, go ahead and follow me on there because I do put those out. I also look, you know, around at, at different fun things that I can find and I love to add them to my Pinterest pages as well. YouTube, yeah, I also follow some some cool people on on YouTube, some great makeup artists that uh, that have done amazing things. I, I'm so inspired by these makeup artists that I see, and I'm obsessed with them. That I, you know, my friend Dina also um, she sells Unique, and so I decided to take a plunge and buy one of their big beauty boxes to, you know, maybe see if I can branch out a little bit more into the beauty. Because, you know, I know the basics of how to put on an eye, you know, like whatever, and a lip or whatever, and the basics of, you know, putting this together, but I want to learn more. So I'm going to, and I'll show you guys as I go, because I think it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, I started with, today I started with this unique uh, lip gloss. It was really pretty. And they also sent me this brown um, mascara. It's 4D mascara. Might not be the 4D. I'm all confused about it yet, but I'm sure I will get better at it. But it's a brown mascara and I really like it. I like, I like the color of it. So anyway, let me get to winter white. So today I am doing winter white blazers and jackets. So a lot of people, when they see like a white blazer or something, they think more along the lines of like formal. That it's formal, like you'd see like that at a wedding or, you know, a Sunday best type look. Um, and most people think of blazers as a work wear, where you would wear, you know, like a, a, a darker color with a lighter top or, you know, that work uniform that people subscribe to that I'm trying to break. I want to break that, you know, idea of everybody has a uniform and you have to wear certain things in certain places at certain times. No rule books. I've said it before, I'll say it again. No rule books. So, yes, so today I, you know, a lot of people don't think I'm gonna get myself a white blazer, but it actually isn't a bad idea at all because you can do some seriously great contrast work with it. Um, I went extreme. A lot of the times I like to wear this with like a dark wash denim, but I went extreme and did the black and white. So, um, you know, kind of sexy with the cowl uh, uh, cami and it's nice and shiny and has a great sheen to it and so does the lapel of this jacket. It's just such a great look to go out in. Love it. And then the super skinny uh, black jeans that I get from Level 99. Here's the thing about black jeans. I talked a lot about white jeans and how they can be really thin um, and that's not great for white at all. Um, I'm not a big fan of the thin white jean, as they call it. This is a little different. So Level 99 is this great denim company that I love getting my jeans from. And I sold them a lot at my shop. They created a forever black that they use. It's a specific dyeing process that they use on their jeans. Uh, their black jeans don't tend to feel like a real denim. They're more of a stretchy satin type. But the reasoning behind it for them was that denim doesn't hold color great. And I'm sure you realize this after a long time of owning a certain pair of jeans, that it wears out in certain places. And sometimes it really looks cool, but other times it may just not, you know, it may not work for you and you gotta you know, get rid of them, get yourself a new pair of black jeans. So they created Forever Black 
this dyeing process with this, this particular fabric. And um, as you can tell, it doesn't look like, I'm gonna bring it up, it doesn't look anything like denim really. It's more of a pant, but it really fits really nicely because level 99 has some great fits. So this is their mid-rise Janice. And it was a go-to that I would buy all the time at my shop and sell through like twice over, like all throughout the holidays. So there's a tip for black. Um, I have plenty of black denim jeans and Levi's does a great job of having that jean quality and keeping that black. So I, I wouldn't say that everyone fails at a denim with black in it. Um, some people just don't even want that pure black but because that denim isn't going to hold it forever you're probably looking at buying a new pair of black denim jeans as time goes by a lot quicker than you would regular denim so there's that um these are my booties that i love to wear all the time you guys see them all the time they're a fry booty the reason why i love these booties so much especially with skinny jeans is because they have a wider opening I don't know if you can see it as well. They have a wider opening, so it's really easy for your jean, your skinny jean to go in. And so it shows, it keeps that line going. See? Very pretty. So there's that. So this is the whole look. And the great thing about like this cowl cami is that you can fit a pendant right in there into it. It looks like it just follows the line and fits right down in that cami. I am wearing my favorite Zodiaca earrings they are leo earrings and they're so super cute see aren't they adorable and they have them in all the different signs so you can get them in all the different signs they're big great statement earrings but i love them with something like this this is this perfect outfit for my statement zodiaca earrings proud leo here hear me roar so what to wear as a you know outerwear for something like a blazer because you know it's it's a little heavier this one not so much and this one's great because it does follow the line really really well so it's not a lot of bulk to it right so that's good you don't even have to button it to put on jackets i chose two today i went in two different ways for you so the first one you could complete the look, keep the um, winter white going on top by wearing a lighter jacket. Um, I'm, so I grabbed my out of the, I grabbed my winter white coat that I got at Target for twenty five dollars. We'll put this on with it to keep that color going, color scheme going, right? Does this one in particular does kind of take away from the streamlined, you know, business kind of look with the hood. So I'm not exactly super excited about that, but you could kind of change it up by putting on, if you wanted to keep that black and white look, putting a, a scarf, of course, everybody knows I'm gonna put on a scarf and it kind of takes away from the look of the hood. So you can kind of get away with not, not having it show the hood as much but yeah, if you want to stay with that cream on top look and then have it all, you know, because it looks great. It's a great contrast. Um, looks super pretty. So there's that. Or you could go with an all black on the outside. So I'm going to take this off and grab my black coat. This one's a shorter coat. More, again, streamlined coat. It is a little bit harder. The arms are a little bit harder with this one because this this one has a um, tighter arm to it. So it is a little uncomfortable, but not the worst. And then I feel like, again, if you're going to go for all black, give yourself a little pop of color. I've got this red Italca scarf. Italca scarves are the best. They're from Italy. They make amazing. These are the ones that they also make those um, really cool uh, printed uh, scarves, those like silk scarves and that kind of thing, those um, modal scarves that I have that have like images printed on them. 
So I feel like with a black, if you're gonna go with black, you're gonna do the whole black thing, definitely give it a pop of color. And as you can tell, I love red. So red and black and white. So that's my tip and story for the day. And if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to you know, comment below or DM me and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions. Also, uh, you know, if you want to see something tomorrow, I'm kind of doing a fun extra have a great time with the end of white winter white week. But if you want like a bonus look, I could give you a bonus look, but I'm excited for tomorrow's look. I can't wait to put it together. So cool. Uh, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of your day and enjoy. Bye.